Chloe's first time in Batu. Are you excited? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Thank you! Oh. Hey guys, Chloe here, and I'm sitting on the floor because I am currently packing. Because. I don't know why I started it there. Um, but I'm super excited because I'm going to Disneyland tomorrow. So it's going to be so exciting. So tomorrow is January 19th. I don't know, this video might come up like, who knows how long after. Sometimes I edit a video like right away and sometimes I procrastinate for like ever, but I'm so excited because I've never been to Star Wars land. It's been open since last summer and if you guys know me, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So going to my first time, I bought a Disney annual pass, so I'm going to use that for the first time. And so I live two and a half hours away from Anaheim where Disneyland is. Um, and it's going to take me, like I said, two and a half hours, but maybe three. But the thing is, um, I have to leave at 4 a.m., which means I have to get up at 3 a.m. because I need to get ready. I, I need to shower, get ready, and then make sure I have everything, and then leave. But anyway, this is the start of the vlog, and it's going to be so fun. And one of my first dilemmas I've come across while packing is whether or not to wear this shirt, which has, like, a side profile of Ray, and it says, The future of the galaxy is female. And then there's, like, resistance right there. It's really cute. I was always planning on wearing, um, and it's so cute, because I just love Ray and Kylo, right? But... I don't know if I'm going to wear it yet, so I will decide. I'm going to wear my Raylo Rise of Skywalker shirt. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker on the back, I'm going to wear that. And then these jeans, BB-8 socks, which will be really cute. And this backpack with my gay jewelry on it. Yeah, so I'm still packing, and I'm going to wear my new Dr. Martens that I got. I'm so excited because, dude, okay. I was going to do a whole video on this, I also got this, I think of that, it's rainbow. Actually, I bought this Wonder Balsam. It's just like you put it on the inside and on the front to protect it and also like soften the leather and everything. So I'm just going to do that. It's kind of funny because it perfectly fits on the cup of the bra, but I bought these last year, or the year before that. Last time I was there and look at them, they're so cool. So I'm definitely reading these. I got these earrings for my birthday. And there's a whole video on what I got in that haul. I'm going to wear them just because they're galactic. And look at that. They're really shiny. Hey guys, so it's 4.04 a.m. and I'm about to leave. We're in the Ray one. And New Kitty really likes this. I think she misses Ben. And she's right next to Ben. I'm going to miss you. Food on the way there, some cranberries, this little nutrition bowl, and then this is the circle water bar, so it's just water in here. Then here is a go sip, so it has um, vitamins and also kind of like a little bit of caffeine and stuff to get you going, so that's really good for me. As well as I'm, it's literally 4 a.m. and I've had, I went to sleep at roughly 11. I had like four and a half hours, four hours, I don't know, not enough, I'm going, I'm going to miss you, it's kind of really scary, <laughs> just being out here at the gas station, I'm like, oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Chelsea the cat. Oh my god, he's so cute. This is my favorite part. Oh, oh my god, yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh my god. Good weather and you can hear her singing. Her cat. Wow. 
I just want to see where she's going. She's leaving, I think. Is she leaving? Is she leaving? Pick. 
a head, two things for that, and with this one you pick his legs and like, you know what I mean? His red arm. Like you might not recognize me because of my red arm. What are you building, Chloe? In our unit. So, I don't know what color to do. Because, like, this is the main part you need to get, right? But I don't want blue. Maybe black. I like the black. White's cool. Yeah. Mm. Black, too. Red is kind of cool, though.
Good job. Did you wake up? Yes. We did. Okay, perfect. It's a he, right? Yes. Okay, I was like, wait. Well, they're, uh, we keep they're gender be. neutral. They don't have any. Yeah, it's really oh, no. one. So, with the legs, you're just going to pull them back? Yeah. Flatten his feet like so. On your boat. This will be for his sound. Okay. His head. All the way over. His body. <laughs> Now, this if you add attachments yeah. to the side, so it'll activate. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. I was like, hey, wait, that's... I thought I was going to crack my own gun. my head after a while but my veins are messed up I'm sorry oh no but I'm walking back to my car now it's about uh, like seven o'clock maybe eight I don't know and here I am walking to my car so that means we stayed at least 12 hours because I got here at 6.30 actually, so 13 hours, but I mean, it was like 12 and a half hours in the park, but in reality it was 13 and a half hours since I've been at this exact spot, but it was all in my car and I took him out of his box so I can buckle him up because he deserves to be buckled up and his name is actually R3T6, so Ray, when I met her, actually named him T6, so I just chose R3. So we're gonna sit him there and buckle him up. Okay, you guys, so I'm home now. I zeroed it when I left. That's how many miles I drove today. On like five hours of sleep, and I'm killing it. I'm probably gonna stay up till like 2 a.m., even though I have work tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Um, I made it quite a mess because, um, if you can see, I was scrambling around trying to find stuff because I got gas and everything and I couldn't find my card. But anyways, yeah, we're just gonna go in after I clean up all my stuff. You ready to go home? This is your new home. <laughs> Don't mind my jacked up car. Oh my god, I'm gonna get that fixed. Okay. I'm just gonna grab you. These shoes are killing me, but they're really cute though. What? You're crazy! New kitty. Meet your new, uh, brother. in the video I know but I ordered Star Wars underwear from me on these.com and I just saw it advertised and I thought it was so cute and I had to get it um so I think it was three pairs for like 30 bucks including shipping something roughly like that but I'm excited so I've never bought them from them before it's a rip it open one just because I wanted to oh, I love these ones so much these are the ones that made me hey stop playing these with are the stuff. ones that really made me want to buy them I just really like the lightsabers, the Ewoks, um, and I was gonna get the like a Stormtrooper one, but I didn't like it too much. But this is just so cute, and I love that one. Of course, but um, just because I didn't want the Stormtrooper one, so I got these cats ones. I think it's really cute, and it's like super nice quality. If you guys can like it's about see. About 24 hours later since the last clip. Um, <laughs> excuse me, Ellen. Um, I didn't film everything last night just because I was really tired and had work today and then right after work at 5 30 I saw Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker again for the third time so and I wore the shirt again because obviously it's literally a shirt for the Rise of Skywalker <laughs> so since I'm home I'm gonna do the outro and show you guys what I got I first got R2 T6 which Ray named him when I talked to her and he's very cute. I, at first I didn't like the orange because you couldn't find a top with any other color. But super cute now. I kind of like the pop of orange color. And then... Okay, so... In here, see I have that little chip right there. 
cabinets. And when I bought the ticket out, it was, I believe, $15 the box. And, yeah, $15. And they had two different smuggler ones, two different resistance, and two different um, first order slash empire one. So, I got the silver smuggler, just because I really like the sounds. And I wanted this guy to be, um, smuggler. Like, I didn't want him to be either side. In there, he's just gonna sound like R2-D2. Oh, yeah. pretty cute but like I said when you put this in here it sounds a lot different and I personally really like the sound of this one okay if it can just go in there okay all the difference between sounds but yeah I really love him so much he's so adorable he was 100 bucks 107 dollars and something cents um, including tax, and you cannot use your annual pass um, holder discount on these Also, guys. at the Astromex store, which is where I got him, um, that is a box that came for free with my drawer. Hi, you're coming in? But I also got this bag. It was only $1.50. It was really nice. Um, and I love, love reusable bags, especially Star Wars ones. And it's really cute, and I love it so much. And on the back it has Black Spire Outpost. This of course comes with each droid. Um, I like this white because it matches the black and white part of him. But I might paint it maybe a little like half black. Bag. Here's all my receipts. I, I am a hoarder and I like to keep those. But here's the Rise of the Resistance Ride guide and map and everything. Star Wars Galaxy's Edges. Like, that's crazy. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. I have to try that. I didn't go to that place. Here actually is a gift card, and it's called Spira, and that is um, the currency of Black Spire Outpost in the Batuan um, planet. So, you can use this anywhere, not just Star Wars Land, but you can only buy this, I believe, at the Droid Depot. And not even where you buy the droids, um, at the little store. Right next to it is what you can buy. Put a minimum of a hundred dollars on the gift card. I put a hundred and seven dollars on here, so it would pay for this guy. So it was technically free. It's just two separate transactions, but it is the credits that they use, and it's really cool, really heavy. It's like really heavy. Um, you can reload it. I already. Oh hi. You can chill. Um, I already used it for the droids, but it's really cute. So it's basically like a free souvenir if you're already planning on at least spending a hundred dollars. And you can use it anywhere in the parks. And I believe anywhere at any Disney. And then I got this. It's a Ray Star Wars pressed quarter. I put four quarters in for it. And it's the Force Awakens one. But it's still very cute. In downtown Disney at one of the booths was this pen and it's a limited edition and the force told me to look at that booth because i was walking by it and i was like i don't need pens and i was like what if they have a Rayla one and they do look at them fighting it's so cute and then it was very pricey it was 17.99 but i could use my annual pass discount on it so i did that so saw um it was like a ray pen it said resist at the resistance store and uh that too but i didn't buy it It was only ten dollars i just didn't buy it but um i'm hoping it wasn't limited edition and then i'll get it when i go i'm think i'm going like next month but if not then the month after that but um there's so many other things that i want to buy that i was going to buy but i already spent a hundred on this guy and more money on this and more money on food so you guys yeah. enjoyed this video um i don't know oh jeez
have no idea how much I've wanted a droid. I've wanted a droid literally since I was a kid. Like, I think they're so cool and I wish they were real things. Like, they're so cute. <laughs> New kitties kind of scared him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment down below. If you've been to Bat 2 before. Oh my gosh, guys, Galaxy's Edge was so cool. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited to go back. Because, like I said, there's so many things I'm going to buy. So, next time I'm going to get to one of the very, like, expensive lightsabers. And then, I'll probably get, um, maybe not that time, but the next time, I'm going to get one, maybe one or two other little creatures you can get at that little pet store, basically. I really wanted them. And I also wanted that Ray and Leia doll. And I also wanted that pin. But there's so many things I want. But I'm just going to budget myself because I do have an animal pass now. So I can go yeah, whenever. Don't forget I want. to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye, R226. <coughs> I got parked in the Toy Story parking lot at 6 30 a.m. An hour and a half before the park opens at 8. But. The park opens at 7 for the Rise of the Resistance ride. It was the third day it was open. So, everyone had to, right here it says Disney app. Everyone had to get a boarding pass for the app and for this ride. And it starts at 8. And my sister and I did it. And I did one, I got boarding group 110. She got 128. And then we had to fix it so we could both be on 110. But they didn't even open the ride for like 2 hours because it was broken down. And then, by the time I was leaving, it was already, there was only on, like, group 61, so, kind of sucks that, um, we didn't get to go on this ride, but, as expected, it was only open for two days before that, and, like, it was the third day, and even the day before that, like, they only got, like, 60 people on, so... Um, kind of figured we wouldn't get on, but it kind of sucked because we got up, I got up at 3.30 in the morning just so we could ride this ride and we couldn't because, yeah, I mean, we had the boarding pass, it's just, eventually, like, at a couple hours before we left, we got, an, um, a notification on the app saying that we can't, um, like, our boarding group is not going to be called that day, so just to have fun on other things. So, probably half the park was upset that they couldn't get on the ride. But, it's totally fine. Like I said, next time, hopefully in a month, it would be die down. Can you not interrupt me, please? <laughs> yeah. He's saying he really liked meeting Ray and that that was okay. That we didn't go on the new Rise of the Resistance ride. But, I knew it would... It would be so fun to go on it, though. But we didn't. But yeah, anyways, just had to add that. Guys, in. we saw a cat. If you saw that, that cat was so cute. He was guarding his little castle. Like, adorbs. Mm -hmm.